and what they're alleging is murder. And it starts with a single tear while waiting in the jury box. But by the time Judge Carmen Kelsey is finished with her work, the floodgates are open. <laughs> But what's not open is any more discussion on the defendant staying home while waiting for trial. The court is going to rule that you should be detained. I am going to order that you be detained at this time. So a 13-year-old boy who's reportedly never had a brush with the law is suddenly held on the charge of murder. And none of it seems to make any sense to anyone. It's tough for any 13-year-old child to be arrested, but let alone be arrested for your best friend's death. That's... It's unthinkable. It's a, it's a great tragedy. The best friend in this case is Tiana Bram, a 13-year-old girl who decided to sneak out of the house late Saturday night. Police say she went to a friend's apartment where the defendant placed a single bullet inside a 38 caliber handgun and then started playing a strange kind of Russian roulette. I haven't heard those terms used, but to me it sounds like Russian roulette. Like you see on television more than you should. I don't have a lot of anger. But here's something you don't see very often on TV or anywhere else. The mother of a shooting victim going to bat for the defendant. That child that supposedly shot her cared about her deeply. What he was doing was stupid. There's no question about that. But 13-year-olds do stupid things all the time. 